Hey, and welcome back to the channel. If you've recently installed VirtualBox and you have a new operating system on it, whether it is Mac OS, Linux, or Windows, and you're finding that your mouse is a little bit laggy or your keyboard is a little bit laggy, or they're both just not working, we're gonna be taking a look at three different ways to resolve this issue within VirtualBox on a Windows 10 PC. So let's get started. Before we get started, I just want to mention that everything that we're doing on this channel is for educational purposes as we demonstrate different ways to virtualize operating systems on computers. So there's a lot of people that have been mentioning in the comments during the installation and after the installation, either they're having issues with their keyboard just not connecting at all, or they're getting a slow mouse, or their mouse is very laggy, or there's just been a lot of intermittent issues for some users. So I'm gonna take a look at three general things that you can do to fix this. Now I'm saying general because each installation of VirtualBox, depending on your specs of the PC, will affect the performance. So these are three generic things that you can do across the platform that can resolve the issue. Now it won't resolve all issues for all users, but it might help some people out, and that's what we're taking a look at it. So the first thing that you can do is make sure that you have the latest extension pack installed. The best thing you can do is go to file and click on check for updates. Mine is completely up to date, so this is great if you have this. If not, what you can do is it'll either, either automatically download it right here, or you can go over to the help menu and then go to the VirtualBox website, which is this link right here. Click on it, it'll open up your browser. And inside here, you just click on the download link on the left-hand side. And you just need to scroll down a little bit here because they have a lot of things listed. And what we're doing is we're just looking for the extension pack. Let me just scroll up. Okay, and here it is. So at the time of the recording this, it's version 6.1.26 is the latest version of the extension pack that's out. You just have to click on the link below. It's supported for all platforms. You can click on it. It'll automatically download onto your computer. You can then go ahead and click on it and let it install on your system. I already have it installed, so it would have just gone through the installation steps. So that's the first thing that you can do. Now, if you already have this part covered, you can go ahead onto the next step. The next step is after the platform has, after the extension pack has been updated, you want to go into the VM that you're having issues with. So you select it. I'm going to use High Sierra as an example. And inside the settings, under the version, you're just going to toggle the 64-bit version. So I have Sierra selected right now, but I can switch it over to El Capitan. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna save it. I'm gonna refresh it by clicking on OK. I'm gonna completely shut down the virtual box so I can start it back up and then I can launch the virtual machine and see if that fixes the issue. Now, if that doesn't fix the issue, the next step that you wanna do is head over back into the settings of the virtual box that you're having issues with go into the USB section, and inside here from USB, you actually wanna select version 3.0. So you can select version 3.0. Without doing anything, you can just test it like that, or you can also add your mouse specifically in here. So your mouse and keyboard should be listed in here like mine is, and you click on add, and then you click on the OK button, and now it's saving the driver of your USB mouse and keyboard that you're using on your PC directly to this virtual machine. Clicking on OK will accept the changes. I recommend just shutting down VirtualBox, opening it back up, and then starting it, it's just to make sure that everything's refreshed. So those are three things that you can do with your VirtualBox to ensure that your keyboard and mouse aren't laggy. Again, this may not help everybody out, but these are your best chances of getting it up and running and getting the performance that you should. So if you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.